calling William Balfour in the shootings of Jennifer Hudson's mother, brother, and nephew. The arrest was announced just today. Good evening, I'm Ann State. And I'm Rob Johnson. Balfour, as you may recall, is the estranged husband of Jennifer Hudson's sister, Julia. CBS 2's Pamela Jones is live at Area 1 Police Headquarters, where Balfour is now in custody. Pam. That's right, Robin. Julia Hudson, you'll remember, is the mother of the child killed in these murders. Tonight, William Balfour's mom tells us she doesn't care what the charges are. She does not believe her son is responsible for the killings. It's no describing how you feel knowing that your son might get the death penalty. It's no, it's, it's no words. Michelle Balfour says she thought her son could be released from the Stateville Correctional Center at a parole hearing on Wednesday. But instead, 27-year-old William Balfour's mom and attorney say they've been told he'll face three murder charges. If they found gunpowder on his hands, you got a case. If they found a gun on him, he had a case. If they found a fingerprint on the truck that he did this, you got a case. But they don't have nothing. Balfour had already served seven years for attempted murder in a carjacking back in 1999. He was on parole back in October when Darnell Donerson and her son Jason Hudson were shot and killed. Donerson's grandson Julian King was found in an SUV days later. Balfour was named as a person of interest and later held on a parole violation. And at his last hearing, the head of the Illinois Parole Board said Balfour's girlfriend told police she'd seen Balfour with a silver gun similar to the one used in the murders. Balfour's mom says that witness may have made those statements to get back at Balfour. A bitter, hateful, he was going back to his wife. Balfour's attorney calls the evidence he's seen so far weak. It seems as though they're relying on statements from other persons, and it seems to me that these statements are largely unreliable, unsubstantiated, and uh, inconsistent in some instances. Now, Balfour was brought back here to Area 1 this afternoon. He is awaiting a court appearance, which his attorney tells us, Ann, will happen tomorrow or Wednesday. We're live at Area 1. Pamela Jones, 